Hey guys, welcome to All Journeys. I'm Gregory, and in this video, we are going to understand even and odd harmonic distortion. We are going to see the difference between symmetrical and non-symmetrical distortion. And at the end of the video, we are going to see why non-symmetrical waveforms are rich in even harmonic terms. Prepare your coffee and come with me. So guys, for this video, I assembled this little circuit here where we have an input for the signal and an output for the signal. So we are going to connect the signal generator to this port and the oscilloscope to this port here. In the path of the signal, we have two diodes in shunt configuration. Each diode shunt the line to ground in the positive direction and in the negative direction. And each diode has one variable resistor in series. So we can change the amount of distortion in the positive and in the negative cycle of the waveform. The full setup uses a signal generator generating a sinusoidal signal on the channel 1. This signal goes for the nonlinearity board and the output goes to the oscilloscope. And you can see here in the time domain the signal distorted. We can also see the harmonic content of the distorted waveform using a spectrum analysis using a full hair transform. So we have the main tone here at 1 megahertz. And you can see here up to the harmonic number 9, this tone here. I also connected the channel 2 of the signal generator, generating a sinusoidal wave to sweep the x-axis of this x-y diagram here. So in the x-axis we have a perfect sinusoidal, and in the y-axis we have the distorted sinusoidal. And in this x-y plot we can see the shape of the nonlinearity. So we can see the two diodes conducting here, distorting the waveform. Changing the resistors, we can change the distortion on the negative half of the signal and we can also change the distortion in the positive cycle here. So guys, we can generate here a symmetrical distortion where the two half waves of the waveform are equally distorted or we can also synthesize here a non-symmetrical distortion where only one half of the signal is distorted. And here we have the clean sinusoidal signal. This XY diagram is actually showing us the transfer function of the circuit. We have here the transfer characteristic of the circuit. And now that we have a sinusoidal signal, because now the resistors are set to a high value where no current is passing through the diodes, we have a linear transfer function. And we can see here that we have a line. This is a linear transfer function. So in the time domain, we have a very clean sinusoidal signal. When the diodes start to conduct, we generate non-linear distortion. Why non-linear? Because this stops being a line now. This is represented by a higher order function, maybe a polynomial of higher order. So to represent this transfer function of this circuit, we need higher order terms, square terms, cube terms, and higher terms. In this configuration, the circuit is a non-linear circuit. This distortion here is non-symmetrical because we don't have symmetry on the distortion and the waveform don't have symmetry. And this is a symmetrical non-linearity because we have symmetry between the two halves of the signal. Now that we are able to synthesize different harmonic distortions, we can take a look on the harmonic terms generated by this distortion here. The harmonic terms or the different frequencies that are generated in multiples of the input frequency appears in the signal because the higher terms needed to synthesize the nonlinearity. When we have a square term, cube term in the transfer function, we have trigonometric relations that generate higher frequency sinusoidal signals from the input signal. Now we are configured for a linear transfer function and we can see that we have the main power of the signal at the fundamental frequency, 1 MHz. This happens because we have a clean sinusoidal and a perfect sign has only one frequency. And we can see this here on the spectrum. Now guys, take a look in what's gonna happen when we increase the distortion of the signal. Let's distort the positive same cycle and look at the content of the higher harmonics of the signal. When the waveform starts to compress, to be distorted, the power of the fundamental frequency starts to be shifted 
to higher order terms, higher order harmonics of the signal. And we can see this here. Look at this. And this happens, guys, because now this signal is a more complex waveform. And to synthesize this signal here, that's not a perfect sign, we need multiple frequencies aligned in phase and with the correct amplitudes to generate this waveform here in the time domain. From a mathematical perspective, the nonlinearity is caused by higher order terms in the polynomial representation of this curve. And in a more practical perspective, we need more frequencies to synthesize this waveform here. And now, guys, look what's gonna happen when we start to compress the negative semi cycle of the waveform using a more symmetrical nonlinearity. So now we are going to start to apply a nonlinearity on the negative semi cycle and take a look in what's gonna happen with the second harmonic of the signal. Here you have the fundamental and here the second harmonic. Take a look. When the distortion starts to be symmetrical, the even terms start to decrease in power. Look at these guys. This is very beautiful. Now that the signal is symmetrical, we have only odd terms in the Fourier series. When the waveform is symmetrical, we have only the odd terms generated. When the waveform is non-symmetrical, we have even content on the harmonic series. This is really interesting, guys. Now we understand better why the frequency doubler of the last video works, guys. Because the distortion of the transistor is not perfect symmetrical. Any difference in the distortion in the positive same cycle and in the negative same cycle will generate even terms. This is why frequency doublers using distortion works. Now we're going to other setup to understand why this happens. I'm using the analog oscilloscope because it's much beautiful and, and for me it appears to be easier to understand this happening here. So I connected a signal generator to the channel 1 and channel 2 and we are seeing here a fundamental signal, okay? Fundamental sinusoidal signal of 5th kilohertz. Now, guys, we are going to turn on the third harmonic of this signal. We are going to turn on a 105th kilohertz signal. So, yeah, let's align the phase here. Yeah, now we have the sinusoidal signal, the fundamental, and the third harmonic, a triple the frequency. When the harmonic number is odd, we have this effect here. In the positive cycle, we have positive distortion. Here, the signals will be add. We have negative distortion. The signals here will be subtracted because the harmonic here is negative. And here, the signals will be add. And in the negative semi cycle of the fundamental, we have exactly the symmetrical of this first case. We have negative, 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 positive, and negative negative. So now guys, when we take a look in the result, so now I turn it on the add function that is adding the two signals, we can clearly see that the resulting waveform will be symmetrical because the harmonic distortion is acting equally in the two same cycles. Beautiful. But when we change to an even harmonic, let's go to the second harmonic. So I will turn off here and let's place the second harmonic in 100 kilohertz. Double the frequency of the fundamental, okay? Let me align the phase. Now the interaction of the fundamental with the harmonic is different, guys. First, we have a negative effect, a subtraction positive, negative, and positive, positive. But now on the negative same cycle, we have negative, negative. And in the positive cycle, we have positive, negative, and here negative, negative. So now the distortion will act differently in the two same cycles of the fundamental. And look at these guys. Now 
resulting waveform is not symmetrical. Look at these guys. It will be easier to see if we use a higher even term. So let's go to the harmonic number four. So 200 kilohertz. Yeah, let me align the phase here. Let's take a look on the resulting signal waveform. Look at these guys, a non-symmetrical waveform. This is non-symmetrical because it's higher here and lower here. Yeah, it's higher, lower, lower, higher. Higher, lower, lower, higher. If you use the harmonic number five, that is an odd term. Let's go to 250 kilohertz on the harmonic. Now we're going to see that the resulting waveform will be symmetrical. Let's go. Look at these guys, a symmetrical waveform. The two same cycles are equal, guys. Very interesting. So guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. If so, please subscribe to the channel, give it a thumbs up, send to your friends, and I see you in the next All Electronics video. Bye.